Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, I welcome you all to this video. We are with Morphological Image Processing. With the help of this video, we are trying to conclude the total morphological image processing operations that are possible with the binary image. So this list along right from the erosion, dilation, opening, closing, the various properties have been addressed. The mathematical properties that we have have been also proved in the MATLAB environment also and the applications like the boundary extraction, the thinning, thickening, region filling, extraction of the connected components we have addressed so far in this particular list. So now we are going to make a conclusion with the help of the pruning operation with respect to the thinning and the skeletons we have certain more comments and more possibilities of the outputs with the pruning there so let us see the details so here we start with our topic so these are the pruning methods and they are very very essentially the complements to the thinning operation we have understood and also the skeletonization algorithms that we have gone so far because these are the procedures to leave the parasitic components that need to be cleaned up by the use of post processing so after operation also we need to process it more so now let us begin with the discussion for the pruning problem and we shall be developing a morphological solution to it now we know that there is one common approach in the automated recognition of the hand printed characters that to analyze the shape of the skeleton of each of the character there whether it is capital a capital b or so on so these are the skeletons that are often characterized by certain spores that are nothing but the parasitic components here so these spores are caused during the erosion process that we perform by the non uniformities into the stroke swap the composing the characters there so now we don't want the spores to come there so let us develop a morphological technique for handling this particular problem and starting with the assumption that the length of the parasitic component does not exceed a specified number of pixels here so we can be visualizing this particular example with the help of the figure where the part A shows the skeleton of the hand printed character small a there. The parasitic component of the leftmost part of the character we are interested in its removal. So this is the image. So we can treat this to be the image part A and in this image part A we have the alphabetic character small a here and to the form small a on to the left hand side we see the unwanted spore so the removal of this unwanted spore is our objective with the help of this pruning here now the solution we shall be using the separation of this parasitic branch so this is by successive elimination of its particular endpoints so of course this also shortens or eliminates the other branches of the characters that is totally unwanted so this is in the absence of the other structural information the assumption here in this particular example is that any branch with three or less pixels is to be limited so such a criteria if we use then our objective achievement will be more easier now the thinning of an input set that can be represented capital A as shown in the part A of the figure with the sequence of the structuring elements designed to detect only the end points achieves the desired results there and let us represent it as x1 computed by having the operation among the A and the set B of structuring elements. So the structuring element has a sequence that can be shown into the next figures so this is the figure part b that has the components b to the power 1 2 3 and 4 
having the rotation by the angle 90 degree for this structure. So the structuring element is having the origin at the center and the two pixels have been shaded with the dark color and the two pixels with the don't care conditions here. Whereas the next figure part C has another set of structuring elements b to the power 5, b to the power 6, 7 and 8. So these are also rotated by 90 degree. With respect to the earlier set of structuring element, we don't have any don't care condition, but a different position with respect to the dark pixels here. Now the sequence of the structuring elements that have been consisted here, the two different structures we have seen. So total eight elements in together we have. So we have the don't care condition in the sense that it does not matter whether the pixel in that particular location comes with the value either 0 or the value 1 there. Now let us apply the first equation to the input set capital A three times so that the set capital X shown into the next figure D can be obtained here. So see here the form of the A is there represented into this binary image whereas the spool has been removed from this particular place here. So now in this particular image you must have seen a loss of information. The form of the cap uh, small a is not completed. Hence the next step here will be to make a restoration of the character to its original form but with the parasitic branches removed there. So for this particular operation we first requires formation of the set x2 containing all the end points into the original x here that can be given in the next figure e here and the x cube can be computed by the union operation for small k is equal to 1 to 8 having the hit or miss transformation of x1 by the structuring element b to the power k here. So b to the power k are the same end point detectors shown of the structuring element sets into the figure B and C here. So this is the image we obtain by processing this much of steps onto the corresponding inputs here. Now the next step will be to perform a dilation of these end points three times using the capital A set as a delimiter there. So this computation can be represented here x3 to obtain this particular dilated region intersected with the input set capital A here. So where capital N represents a 3 by 3 structuring element capital H it should be for the ones and as in the case of the region filling and the extraction of the connected components this type of conditional dilation prevents the creation of one valued elements outside the region of interest as evidenced by the result shown into the next figure F. So this is the next figure F. So by this we get few portion for the alpha character small a here. So finally the union of this x3 computed and the x1 computed before will yield the desired result. So therefore the next representation will be for x4, the union of x1 and x3 represented here. So as shown in the next figure G here, we get the form of the alphabet small a here. So here we are successful in removal of this spur that is totally unwanted by the pruning operation. Now we shall be addressing a summary of morphological operations onto the binary image and after this summary we can address the next topic that is morphological reconstruction because the morphological operation understanding is totally covered after morphological reconstruction and the knowledge of extension of morphological operations from binary image to the grayscale image we shall be addressing and concluding this particular chapter. So in the summary we have a knowledge of translation operation and the reflection operation. The corresponding representations are made in this 
set equation form here where the translation of the origin of capital A with respect to the point Z here, the reflection of all the elements of the capital B about the origin of its sets are to be carried out here. After translation and the reflection, the importance is of complement operation and the difference operation. Complement operation by set equation is represented here. So it is a set of points. Those are not a part of original input set capital A. Whereas we can have a difference A minus B represented as the intersection of A with that of the B complement. So set of points that belong to A but not to the B will be the difference here. Then we have the dilation operation and the erosion operation. So these are represented with the earlier knowledge, the reflection and the earlier one. So the dilation expands the boundary of A with respect to the eye image we can see here and erosion contracts the boundary of A here. Now here the extensions to this dilation and erosion we have the opening and closing operations represented like this here between A and B. Opening basically smooths the counters the breakage of the narrow isthmuses and the elimination of the small islands and the sharp peaks is there. Whereas for closing operation, we have the smoothness of the counters, the fusing of the narrow breaks and the long thin gulfs and the elimination of the small holes. The heat or transformation is also very, very important. The mathematical representation can be there. An asterisk inside a circle is represented between capital A and capital B. So capital A is the input set here. Capital B is the structuring element, which is necessarily the intersection of A eroded by B1 and A complement eroded by B2. Whereas it can also be expressed as the difference of A eroded by B1 minus A dilated by B2 cap. So the corresponding operation related. So the set of the points or the coordinates we can see at which the simultaneous B1 found a match that is nothing but the heat into the A and B2 found a match that is nothing but into the A complement here. So next to this knowledge, we had the boundary extraction. The corresponding equation can be like this the set of points onto the boundary of set A are extracted here. Next to the boundary extraction, we had the region filling represented by x to the suffix k here for k is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. So this fills the region capital A given in the point P into the region 2. Next to that, the connected components were also extracted. They finded the connected component y into the A given the point P initially. Convex hull is also address that finds the convex hull represented C of capital A for the set input capital A here. So where C O N V indicates the convergence. We had the thinning represented A and B and with the help of the symbol cross sign inside a circle here. After thinning we had thickening also. Next to the thickening, we had the skeletons, pruning, just now we have address here. So this is the summary of equations, competition for x1, x2, x3, and finally x4 giving us the prune result here. So here we have the use of the structuring elements. So the first type of the structuring element B is shown here, second type, third type, fourth type, and the fifth type with the rotation with the corresponding angles 90 degrees, 45 degrees have been shown for all these structuring elements here. So by the next lecture, we shall be addressing the morphological reconstruction. I hope you are getting the knowledge of the digital image processing and enjoying it working with the MATLAB environment also. For more knowledge and getting the details of the subjects 
डी आई पी एंड अदर डिटेल्स ऑल्सो यू कैन सब्सक्राइब टू ईकड़ा चैनल थैंक यू